idea that I learned from Eddie Van Halen slash Richie Cotson slash Satriani. The idea, I'm going to give you a pattern that you can mess with to kind of expand um, what you do with your left hand. The idea is to get started with the next note via a slide. So, so we're in kind of E Dorian-ish. E Dorian. So th this is kind of like a this is the lick. Um so that would be uh going 5 to 7 on the low E string. straight up a door uh, an E Dorian scale and then, and then the other pattern I'm, I'm kind of throwing in is this so that is that pattern is uh Slow down. One of the things that's kind of uh, annoying with with legato drills is a lot of them are hard to practice in four. But but if you just take this pattern, one two three four. One two three four. Let's let's take it on under the B string. It's this is easy to play in and four because the the downbeat is um, if you can see my leg. Um, but yeah, I think I think that <clears throat> no one really talks about that you using a. A slide to to keep your notes going. Obviously, I'm not I'm not doing true like true legato here. I I am picking a little bit, um, but I'm I'm not good at I'm not good at hammer-ons from nowhere. So, um, I think I think sliding is a lot easier. Like doing this is a lot easier than going. Just my opinion, and it, it sounds it sounds a little bit more liquidy too. Um, but yeah, man, that's the idea. I hope that helps. Um, when you're doing like like three note per string scales, just try when you get um, when you get done with your your three notes, try try sliding back one note and then and then sliding back into the three notes uh, to keep your your legato chain going. <laughs> 